welcome everyone today we will discuss about the electric canal which is going to be absolutely beneficial for the mbbs exams so let's start electric canal overview the definition of electric canal is that it is an intermuscular conical triangular space conical triangular space located in the medial side of the thigh now the course of the adductor canal extends from the apex of the femoral triangle mind it it extends or starts from the apex of the femoral triangle to the tendinous opening the tendinous opening also known as adductor hiatus in the adductor magnus muscle length of the adductor canal is approximately 50 cm long from the apex of the femoral triangle to the tendinous opening in the adductor magnus now showing the surface marking of adductor canal here we can easily identify where the adductor canal is located now we can see it is it is apex of femoral triangle it is femoral triangle here starting point of adductor canal and it is ending point of adductor canal about 15 cm long in the or under the sartorius muscle under the sartorius muscle the ending point of adductor canal is tendinous opening that is adductor hiatus in the adductor magnus muscle Now moving ahead, figure showing adductor canal in transverse cut of thigh. This particular this figure is a transverse section of the thigh cutting transversely. And for imagination, you can here see the muscles surrounding the adductor canal: vastus medialis, sartorius. adductor longus and the triangular shaped space or tunnel is adductor canal this side is medial side this is rectal side this is anterior and this is posterior so from this diagram you can easily say that the adductor canal is located medial side of the thigh boundaries of adductor canal anterior lateral wall anterior lateral wall is formed by vastus medialis posterior medial wall or the floor is formed is formed by adductor longus and adductor magnus adductor longus lies above and adductor magnus lies below the adductor longus medial wall or roof medial wall or roof is formed by fibrous membrane fibrous membrane overlapped by sartorius muscle So sartorius flexus of nerve lies on the fibrous roof. Figure showing boundaries of adductor canal. Here we can see from this diagram 
vestus medialis form the anterolateral wall what anterolateral wall medial wall medial wall or roof roof is formed by fibrous roof overlapped by sartorius muscle postero medial wall or floor or floor is formed by adductor longus and adductor magnus now the content of adductor canal basically adductor canal serve as the passage for the structure moving between the anterior thigh and the posterior leg the content are femoral artery femoral vein saphenous nerve nerve to vastus medialis and the branch of anterior branch of anterior anterior and posterior division of obturator nerve as femoral artery and femoral vein exit the adductor canal they are called as popliteal artery and vein respectively popliteal artery and vein respectively now showing the content of adductor canal femoral artery just just below the fibrous roof fibrous roof femoral vein posterior to the posterior to the femoral artery saphenous nerve the largest the largest cutaneous branch of the femoral nerve nerve to vastus medialis and the last content is branch of anterior and posterior division of obturator nerve in case of surgery of distal distal leg knee local anesthesia is applied or given to the patient to block the saphenous nerve or saphenous nerve and both nerve to vastus medialis for the surgery of distal leg knee and medial side of the thigh i hope you will like this video and will be helpful for your exam and for your knowledge if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel medicos talk follow us on instagram at medicos talk